Hey, what's up, guys? Chris here. Um, I got a quick video for you. I really think this is pretty cool, uh, especially for you guys who like to use Drummer and Logic. Um, I think it's really a great plugin. Anybody who's used it knows it's pretty cool. But if you're like me, uh, my issue with it is even though it's got the cool feel and you can pick all the drummers and the different grooves and you know you got your all this stuff right here to change how complex it is, whatever. It's cool, but sometimes you find yourself searching for like you know the right drum groove and it's usually the kick drum that's off and uh you know of course it has a feature here that i'm going to kind of manipulate today but it's called follow and i guess the idea is typically you play a bass guitar and the kick and snare will kind of follow and that's really cool i've used it it works really great but you know if you're trying to record to a drum track that's already laid out uh and play bass of that and then tell it to follow later it kind of throws you off when you're trying to play the bass so um, for me when I have a song idea I've already got the groove in my head and I'd like to play bass to that without having to program the drums um, so I'm gonna show you a quick trick that I do uh, you could use it or not whatever uh, but it's cool so what I have here is I've got my girl Nikki um, she's got some cool grooves I've got a custom kit I made, but I've got Nikki in here. And I've just got it kind of set here in the middle. And let's play that and see what it sounds like. Right, pretty straightforward. Uh, it's got a great feel. But you know, it's like I, I want the kick to do something different. And you know, if, if I move the the complex pattern over, this happens, right? So that's cool, but that's still not what I wanted. Uh, so what I did was, was I created another drum track. Um, and I set the output to no output because I don't want to really hear it. Um, uh, you know what? I will turn it on. Let's just turn it on. What the heck? Here we go. I'm going to put it in record. And it's got another kit on here, so it's going to kind of throw off the groove a little bit. Uh, but you'll kind of see how this works here in a sec. So here we go. Record. Boom. Okay, so let's hear what I did. I'll quantize it real quick. Boom, there it is. Uh, let's just listen to my silly little kick here. You know, I don't have a song that goes like that right now, but you get the idea. If you have a groove in your head, you know where the kick's supposed to land. Uh, you can do that whole thing, and it's cool. Um, so there it is. You know, I guess I can just mute this track and go up to here and say follow. And of course, the only other track I have here is uh, instrument two. And do let's see if it worked. So yeah, man, it's just a quick way to do it, right? Uh, if I push it more complex, uh, it should, as you can see, it changes it up here based on this kick pattern I created. I really want to go over here and see if it got all these kind of double bass kind of kicks. Did something weird. Uh, let me check it out real quick here. Yeah, so it's cool. And you know, it's got the whole thing where you can turn up the fills, and I think it might add like the snare in there a little bit more because it is a kick and snare follow mode, you know? Let's hear that. It's 
So yeah, it did a snare roll right there at the end because I turned up the fills. Or if you don't want that, you can just turn the fills all the way off and then it's just a kick drum for the most part. So yeah, I just wanted to throw in that you could also just grab a microphone and just, you know, tap out the beat on the mic if you don't have a drum machine, record it to an audio track and do the same thing, set follow mode to the audio track, uh, whatever, just cool stuff. I actually got that idea from my wife. Um, we were recording one of her songs and, um, I was explaining to her kind of how it worked, how it followed the bass, and she's like, well, can I just top on a mic and it work? And I was like, that's freaking brilliant. Yeah, so guys, uh, I appreciate you. Please subscribe, like, leave a comment. It means a lot to me. Um, and just thanks for those who support my channel. And I will see you next time. Bye.